The power of Serene Rhino lies in its simplicity. For example, we control everything with either points or with geometry. In this case, you can have one point creating a constant density field. Using multiple points generates gradually interpolated density. Today we take a look how to make use of the power of simple points. The geometry of today is an insole. Just a quick reminder, we are not shoe designers. This serves as an example of a possible use of our density points. We make use of this envelope here and a boundary where we want to attach our ADMS to. Now, using the power of Grasshopper, I made a little setup where you can place a grayscale image of pressure points. Then I distributed our minimal and maximal density I want to use over a grid of points and duplicated it three times so that it allows us to make a spatial field. Where the value is black or gray, we have a density of 5.6. As soon as we want to get more dense, we heighten it up to a density of maximum 14. So with this setup, I can create our density points. So it puts it in, in our layer as it's supposed to be. We do not need Grasshopper anymore. From now on, we use these density points to generate our structure. I made multiple iterations. Here we see the picture I got from Wikipedia. Thank you, Wikipedia, and manipulated the grayscale. Comparing both of these densities, you can click Clearly see that it correlates with the grayscale value. This one here is a little bit more dense. This is how you can make use of our simple approach with points and simple geometry to create complex ADMS structures. Thanks for watching. See you next time.